Everybody needs a little inspiration sometimes, especially when it comes to decorating your home. So with over 25 years of experience in interior design, Mark Thieve joins us this morning to tell us how we can create a beautiful space in five decisions or less. Mark, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, so why don't you start off? What's it, the first decision? The first decision is going into your home and editing. Now, if it's ugly, it's time to get rid of it. But if you look around your house and start grouping like items together, the organic nature of this, the organic nature of these pieces, you'll find you'll be turning clutter into a collection. So shop within your house, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, and then see what you have to work with. Maybe you can, so edit. Maybe you can find some little gems that you just didn't know you had. You didn't had. even know you had them. Okay, what's the second decision? The second step is grounding. Okay. And by that what we mean is looking at your backgrounds. So here, a great paint color, and if it's one feature wall behind a sofa, behind a bed, you know, have some courage. Go with something that speaks to you. If you've got a little money to splurge for $1,000 or less, a little bit of a textured wall covering, this metallic cork mm. is crazy wonderful. And then, for instance, in a kitchen, people get all freaked out about their cabinets. It's not about the cabinets. It's really about the backsplash, that little tiny piece of material right. that peekaboos at you. So you really, you know, it's not a lot of square footage, so maybe it's a splurge moment. And the texture can be important, right? Because you've got texture here. Texture is super expensive. As I shopped within my home, I noticed I had an organic quality going. So I kind of continued with that organic theme. All right, what's the third decision? The third is the hardest, and this is the one that freaks everybody out. <laughs> this is hysterical. This is committing, you know, commitment is a big deal. Right. Committing to your big pieces. Okay, I'm here to tell you that a sofa, two chairs, and a cocktail ottoman will work in every living room. Right. But I gotta tell you, Logan, here's what's interesting. As much as people get freaked out about these big pieces, these are not that important. Mm. These pieces are not what brings the style to the room. It's the layering and the things that come next. So if you're choosing so, this, do you just choose something maybe neutral? You know what? If you're afraid of commitment, neutral is always a great okay. way to go because you can mix and match it with everything. Then you can dress it up with some of the things you have here. Which brings us to layering. Okay. Layering is where all the style is. The pillows, the throws, mm -hmm. big lanterns that you kind of scatter about the house. This is what brings a lot of impact and style and you know it's easy to change too sure you know these types of commitments notice these blues are trending in as we turn into fall okay. mixed with the rich terracotta that is a wonderful look brought in with pillows and throws it can change you know seasonally or just you know if you get into another mindset right. and finally mark love love Here we love go. are those personal items <laughs> they're candles they're books that tell me about where you've been logan they're picture frames about your family one of the things that i always believe in love is laying your jewelry or or a loved one's jewelry you know display it show it surround yourself with things that are going to tell me about you fantastic mark Thief. thank you mark thank you logan appreciate that and thanks for watching